Mic check one, two, yo, 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 yo! <laughs> I don't know why I'm shouting that loud. Anyway, hello everybody. I'm just going to start with that. I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to In the Little Box. Now, a few things you might notice uh, is one, that monitor is vertical. Yes, I like it. Don't question it. Uh, the second thing is this thing right here. Let me give it a pat. There you go. Uh, you'll know if you heard a pat noise if I've actually used this. Uh, basically, this is a little microphone. It's like a lapel mic, which actually runs just into my mobile phone. You know, like you kind of get like headphones with like Apple phones and Android phones, and they just plug in there like a normal headset, and they've got a little mic on like the string at some point. Well, that's what this does, and I thought I would give it a try because usually, and like I am today, just as a backup, um, I always have to swing my microphone around and actually unhinge it and put it in different places just to film audio. So let me know what you think to the sound of this and uh, I may use it in future videos. If not, this will be great for events and stuff like that. But anyway, if you would ever like to send anything to this show, uh, this is a weekly PO Box show on my channel where I open all of your mail. Then the link is down below, or I say a link, the address is down below. Or you can go to the Yogscast website if you ever forget it, and it's on the contact page. So there you go. Uh, right, cool. So we actually literally have just the box this week, which is really cool. It doesn't make it any less uh, mail. Uh, <laughs> it's still a lot, but let's open up the first letter. I'm just going to go for... Well, letter first package I'm gonna open up this bad boy right here and I realized that I call everything a bad boy I think I'm starting to kill that term for myself and other people like when I edit these videos back um, I realize just how many times I say it oh my god yes and in honor of my live stream that I did yesterday as a film in this uh, we've got a little Yoshi we've got a little Yoshi inside of there which is pretty cool so we've got a little Yoshi figurine he's gonna sit right there and to be fair with the amount of Yoshi stuff I have I could probably have a Yoshi shelf in my office um, um, we've got some cool fan art of my avatar, which is quite nice. Got that, and it's apparently raining sapling logos, which I think will be quite painful. I imagine that would be a little bit uh, a little bit pointy and spiky. Uh, and here is the letter as well. Here we go. So it says, Two in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. Hi, my name is Silky. Literally S-I-L-K-Y. That's a cool name. Uh, it says, Hi, I'm Silky. I'm 11 years old, and I really like your channel. I uh, haven't been a subscriber for that long, but I'm enjoying your content so far. The main things I watch on your channel are your Mario Kart videos and in the little box which I hope this letter is read out on ha 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 it says I hope you like the fan art picture that's inside um, and hopefully it stayed with the letter yeah don't worry like it made it here all to uh, together collectively it took me just an hour to draw and I hope you get some use out of it uh, I know it's not your most recent avatar but it's my favourite one yeah I don't think it's too different to my current one my current one just has one ear out and then I think some websites like I think the Insomnia website for i55 have used the double ear one which I think I used for maybe like two days and then I decided that I wanted one of the ears covering up and somehow everybody just now uses that it must just be high on like Google search or something um, <laughs> but anyway it says also I hope you like the Yoshi uh, a friend gave it to me but I don't use it so now you can have it because you deserve it and then it says bye and it's surrounded in lots of like sapling logos as well which is cool uh, who was that from that was from Silky there we go thank you very much Silky so let's go from a package to a letter I'm literally just gonna do in the middle of that thing there we go. We got a letter. That one. Oh, apparently this one's come all the way from Cornwall. Let's come from Cornwall. Okay. Uh, who sent us this? Oh, wow. This is late. My bad. Sorry. Uh, this says, happy birthday, Martin. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day uh, with lots of presents, with fan mail and fun, with lots of love and hugs from Alice. So there we go. It's, it's a little bit late, but that's my bad. You, were, you probably sent this in like March, so it would have been here in time. But you've got the Escapist, Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, Cube World, Wind Waker, Disney. Disney Infinity, Tom and Achi Life, Minecraft, Skyward Sword, and Choice Chamber. And speaking of the Escapists, I'm very excited as I film this today because apparently there are brand new maps coming out on Tuesday, which is really, really cool. So brand new Escapist maps. I'm totally going to be playing those every single day on the channel until I finish them. And then maybe I'll pick the series back up and continue to do uh, fan-made maps, which I never got around to doing. So there you go. It's very, very cool. So thank you very much to Alice. Damn, we off. Whoa, hello. Oh, God, I like it when things get inverted. This is a, a black envelope with silver or white text. This caught my attention immediately. And I think the entire letter is actually written on black paper as well. I was about to say we're absolutely flying through this today. I feel like it's only been a few minutes and we're already on to our third letter. Oh, and a little address fell out the bottom. I won't show that. Yeah, the letter's the same as well. This looks so cool. So it says, Two in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. I haven't watched your videos for very long. 
only about a month or so, uh, but I absolutely love the Escapist series. Haha, <laughs> it's all tying in. Uh, the first video I watched of yours was with Stampy and Squid when they went to Yogg Towers for a vlog. Oh, that was so cool. They ended up having to actually stay at our apartment. I don't know if you've seen it, but we put a vlog up on the In The Little Dream channel where they actually stayed at our place. We went for um, for dinner. I think Ashley Marie Gaming also stayed at our place the exact same day. You've inspired me to create my own YouTube channel, uh, which name I will not write down. Okay, secrets. Uh, and I hope that you will continue to do your absolutely amazing YouTube videos for a very long time. And that comes with best wishes from Jade Cooper, age 13. Thank you very much for writing to us, Jade. I've just seen this one down like the side of the box. I don't know how it like slipped away, uh, but this one's pretty cool. It's got a little Dobby, a little Dobby stamp on it. It'll focus on that. There you go. And then Dobby is in full sight. Yeah. Uh, and on the back it says, hey, hey, listen, open me. I don't know why I expected the, the letter to not be square, but the letter is square. The envelope was square. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, it says, uh, oh, this is printed as well. I love it when people do this. Uh, it says, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, my name is Amanda Hare. Uh, your username is Amhare97, uh, and you're from Talent, Oregon. There's a place called Talent. That's pretty cool. Uh, the first video I watched of yours was the Christmas Adventure. No! Day number three. That's the name of the episode, by the way. Uh, after that, I was hooked. I would have to say that Nino Cooney was my favorite series from you. Uh, I watched you reach 1 million saplings and onwards. Thank you for making every sapling smile and laugh daily. Watching you play cool video games made me want to try it myself. I got myself Tominachi Life and I'm trying to get myself The Escapist and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. I sent a letter to you a couple of years ago but I never saw it on In The Little Box. Well here we go, it's good. Uh, so either it got lost in the mail or you opened it off camera. Hopefully this one makes it and gets read on In The Little Box. Ta -da! What Legend of Zelda game would you recommend Ooh, to a first time player? Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd have to recommend one, maybe one of the more linear ones. I don't think the old SNES ones would fare you well because I find those just so open world and confusing, which is also why I wouldn't recommend Wind Waker to a first time player. I would say maybe why, try the 3DS ones. I think that would be a comfortable way to kind of delve into that genre. Or maybe Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is crazy linear. So either Majora's Mask 3D or Skyward Sword, I would say. Those are my recommendations. Uh, is there going to be a fourth Christmas adventure? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't currently know. I think if there were to be one, we would have to start planning it now. Usually we kind of get the idea, we get the people involved and everything, the story written, all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I reckon I'm probably going to speak to the guys uh, sometime this week or next week to find out if that's going to be a thing. What other conventions are you going to this year? Aha, now this actually ties in really nicely. So the only convention that I'm confirmed for, or at least two conventions that I'm confirmed for, are I-55. I'm going to be at Insomnia, which is pretty cool. Uh, and if you want to get a ticket for Insomnia, like I said last week, there is a voucher that you can use on the checkout. Um, it's I-55 Yogs Martin, if I remember correctly. That is the coupon code. Use that on the checkout. You get 10% off. I get a little bit of money from that as well. Everybody wins. It's great. Um, so I'm going to that, and then I'm also going to be at Minecon, which is a very, very late announcement from me, um, because I honestly didn't know if I was going to be going or not, but someone's twisted my arm, and I'm going to go to that. And as far as I'm aware, I'm the only Yogs cast member that's going to be in attendance. So as far as I know, I'm going to be on a signing session because uh, the signing session this year is working a bit differently. Uh, but my signing sessions are going to be with Captain Sparkles, Aurelian, and I don't know who else is going to be on there with us. And speaking of Aurelian, she's the new Twitch community manager, and I'm actually going to be on a panel about Twitch at Minecon. So those are things you can look forward to. So if you see that on the list of like panels that are going on, come over to that, say hi to me, uh, and that'd be really, really cool. So there you go. Um, as well as things like EGX and TwitchCon and um, God knows what else, like Comic-Con in October. Um, I, we haven't decided on those ones just yet, so keep an eye out on this channel. It will be in a Best Bits video if I announce it anywhere, so sit tight. Um, and then other than that, it says, if you were a fruit, what would you be and why? Oh, God. See, I don't even like fruit. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I literally don't know that many fruit, and I can't think of anything that I have in relation with a fruit that would make me pick, so I would have to go orange or banana, maybe just banana, I'm wearing this colour, it's coming up more yellow on the camera than it is orange, so there you go, and it says, say hi to Kai and the kitties for me, and stay 20% cooler, oh, there's a brony, oh my god, that's adorable, and uh, Amanda also drew us a little bit of Vulpix fan art, that is so cute, it's even got like a little green bandana on it, like a balaclava around its neck, oh, I think there is a plushie in here, but it is sellotaped to all 
little hell. I wonder if I just sort of tear down the middle if this will work. Oh, no, 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 no! I sort of tore into the letter. Oh, that's not good. But at least I didn't, like, properly rip it to shreds. It's just, like, torn down the middle of it. I knew there was a plushie in here. It's Rainbow Dash, everyone. And this is the one with wings as well. Damn. Oh, and there's even a pack of Pokemon cards. But it doesn't feel like there are any. Oh, no, there are Pokemon cards in here. Okay. Okay. So we've got a little Kingdom Hearts keyblade, which is quite nice. That's actually a really adorable keyring. I'm keeping that. Uh, and then we also have a Turtwig. Is that what he's called? I feel like that's what he's called. Let me, like, cover my face up. Focus on the text and then look at the Turtwig. Yeah, there you go. I think you're getting more fingernail in the shot than a Turtwig, but it's all good. And uh, I think you've actually handpicked... Oh, that is the best card I've ever seen. Okay, this is good. All right, everybody. So as well as Pokemon cards, there are actually uh, some of those ones that I picked up when I was back home recently. It's called Wise Schwartz. I still don't know what the game is or how it works, but um, I need to see if I recognize these characters. I don't think I actually do. I oh, no, you know what? I do know what show this is from. This is from Kill the Kill, isn't it? Which is a show that I haven't watched yet, but it is ha it has been highly recommended to me, so I still need to try and convince Kai to watch it, because it does have a slightly dated anime art style look about it, but that's on purpose, isn't it? And then I don't feel like the other three characters are from Kill la Kill. If you want to tell me in the comment section, that would be really good. So, we've got that character just there, generic purple-haired lady. Oh no, that one is from Kill la Kill as well. You know what, it does say it, but that logo there is too tiny, so this character here is from Kill la Kill. But that one, if you look just next to the name of the character, it is so minute, it's ridiculous. Like, you see it just there. That just there, which is tinier than my fingernail, is the logo of the show. I just can't read it. I literally cannot read it. But anyway, uh, Pokemon cards. Oh, it's even a... <laughs> I actually knew what this was just by looking at the back of it. This is a uh, an MLP card, because I know Kai bought like a, like a proper starter deck of the stuff. Uh, and this one is Fighting for Friendship. There you go. Uh, we've got Royal Guidance and Duck and Cover as well. And then I just want to show you this card, because we've got a few Eevees. We've got a Leafeon, which obviously fits my theme really, really nicely. But you'd be surprised that my favorite evolution um, just because I found it to be the most handy Pokemon in Pokemon X like hands down the best Pokemon in my party was Sylveon and this is a shiny Sylveon which just looks incredible it's so so cool uh, but anyway let's find out who sent this because I tore your letter up by accident uh, so I should probably resolve that uh, <laughs> wait what since when my camera right now has gone over 15 minutes. This is very strange. My camera is a Canon, so it shouldn't technically go over 15 minutes. I mean, I'm not complaining. That's great. Maybe this whole video is just going to corrupt. Uh, but anyway, oh, <laughs> I've kind of given it like a, a squall Final Fantasy VIII scar across its face. But there you go. There is me as in the little cat. There you go. Um, oh, you spelt Martin with an I. How dare you? Anyway, the letter is readable still, fortunately. It says, hello, Martin. So, I've only been watching your videos for a few weeks now. Uh, from the time when you read this letter, uh, where... Or so the letter says, hello, Martin. So, lots of O's. I've only been watching your videos for a few weeks now uh, from the time of this letter being sent, not the time you read it. Uh, but I discovered you through Little and Cubes, uh, and eventually I checked out your channel, and you sold me on your Final Fantasy videos. Huge Final Fantasy fan. Have I done many Final Fantasy videos? I know that I did, like, two episodes of ten, which nobody cared about, and then... I think that's it, isn't it? I know I really want to play 15. I know I did a Haragana on 15, so maybe that was it. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> literally says in here, anyways, you've distracted me with your videos from the stress of life and just stress in general, which is really cool. Uh, it says, so basically, this letter or parcel came about because I randomly drew you in anthro form. I think that says anthro. Um, I then ended up sending the rest of the other crap because... I don't know. I know people just like to send me their crap on this show. It's just like become a thing now, hasn't it? Uh, he says, well, continue being sweet and funny and keep producing more fantastic videos uh, and remember to smile. And that is from Corin, I think I want to say. I think it's spelled C-O-R-A-N. So thank you very much, Corin. I absolutely love the Sylveon card. That is going on my Pokemon shelf because I've got things like my Ancient Mew on there. I've got a Latios. I've got the Sylveon that I can add onto there now and also the Sylveon. So with the camera running out of time, um, that is it's probably a good place for me to end the episode there for today. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you ever want to send something into this show, uh, then be sure to use the address that is in the description, or you can go to yogscast.com, go to the contact page. It's just the regular Yogscast PO box. And if you put something like in the little word, Martin, sapling swirls all over the bloody thing, then it will definitely make its way over to me. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next week for more mail. Bye-bye.